Hiya folks, it's Kim here with Mickey Travels and I have another video with my tips and tricks. Today's topic is should I rent a car in Walt Disney World? And there are a lot of opinions out there and I'm going to list some pros and cons to hopefully help you make an informed decision. And we are going to start with the pros. Pro number one. Renting a car allows you the convenience of coming and going when you please versus waiting for transportation. This is probably the most significant pro of the bunch. You don't have to rush to a transportation location to wait for a bus, boat, or monorail. Rather, you can operate on your own schedule. I've personally found that if staying at a Disney resort that only has bus transportation, particularly if it's one of the larger resorts like Saratoga Springs or Caribbean Beach, where there are multiple bus stops, at the resort. I actually spent less time driving to the park than I did waiting and taking a bus. It is also nice to have the peace of mind that a car is there in case you need it. Pro number two, if you are staying on Walt Disney World property, you can park at the theme parks free of charge. When you drive through the theme park entrance where you must stop to pay to park, all you will need to do is have them scan your magic band to let the attendants know that you are a Disney Resort guest. Pro number three, renting a car will allow for more flexibility in your vacation. For example, if you have a late flight on the day of departure and you want to visit a park that day, you will have the flexibility of leaving from the park if you have a car versus going back to your hotel to catch the Magical Express. There is always the possibility of taking a cab, but that begs the question of what to do with your luggage, which is another pro of having a car. You can actually store your stuff in it. Pro number four, you might be more likely to try things that aren't easily available via public transportation. For example, some of the best restaurants, in my opinion, can be found at the Walt Disney World hotels. Currently, there is not a direct way to travel between resorts if staying on Disney property. You would have to take transportation to a theme park, Disney Springs, or some other hub and transfer to a bus, boat, or monorail that would take you to the resort and then follow the same procedure on the way back. Also, there are entertainment options like Fantasia Gardens Mini Golf or Disney's Boardwalk that are not easily accessible via public transportation. Again, you can opt to take a cab, but a car makes these visits easier. And finally, pro number five, if you stay at a park until closing, you will likely have to deal with a large crowd of people all trying to take public transportation back to their hotels. While having a car doesn't shield you from a mob scene, it is sometimes nice to go back to a quiet car where you are guaranteed a seat and are able to avoid the long bus lines at the end of the night. Now we're going to look at the cons. So con number one, it is an added cost to rent a car and an unnecessary one considering the resorts on Disney property offer complimentary transportation to and from the theme parks. Many off-site hotels have transportation too, some of which are free and some of which include a small fee. You should decide if the convenience and flexibility of having a rental car is worth the additional cost. Con number two, it is one additional step to the start and or end of your trip. Some people want to run off the plane and get right onto Disney's Magical Express or another form of transportation to start their vacation right away. If you rent a car, another step is added to your itinerary to pick it up and drop it off. Also important to note, you will need to either prepay your gas, which is more expensive typically, or make a final stop to make sure when you return the car, it has a full tank of gas. Con number three. In many cases, taking public transportation, at least on Disney property, will allow you to be dropped off close to the entrances of the park. If you rent a car and must park it, you will either need to take a tram or walk, which might be somewhat of a distance, to the theme park entrance. If traveling to the Magic Kingdom, you will either take a tram or walk to the transportation and ticket center and then take a boat or monorail to the park entrance. Renting a car may eliminate some of the stressors or frustrations of navigating from your hotel to the parks, allowing for more time with your family and avoiding unnecessary quarrels or arguments. 
However, each person has to decide if renting a car is a good idea for them and worth the additional cost. Remember, the idea is to have as much fun as possible on your vacation. And that's all for today, folks. Thank you for listening. And if you need help planning your Disney vacation, please feel free to contact me at my email address or one of my social media sites, Mickey Travels Kim Hart on Facebook or Mickey Travels Kim Hart on Instagram and follow my YouTube channel. Thank you.